Bar. I'm Carmen White. I'm Brandon Richardson. I'm a tag. <laughs> My name is Samuel Kapoon. And today we're going to be explaining. Today we're going to be explaining how to um, solve for a compound circuit. So the first thing we need to know is how to add how to add resistors in series and how to add resistors in parallel. So when you're adding them in parallel, you take the um, you take the resistors in parallel and you add them one one over R1 and one over R2. And if you have multiple resistors, then you just keep on going. And so the sum of all that will equal um, R equivalent. But in order to get R, you have to do the inverse of um, R equivalent. So then that will get you R equivalent by itself. So that's R to the negative one. And for series circuits, you have to, ju you just simply add the resistors together. So if it was something like this, you just add one and two together and that gets you three ohms. And then that will condense the circuit down to R1 and R2. And then our question is, what is the total current going through the circuit? So in order for us to get the total current, we have to condense our complex circuit down into a simple circuit where it's just the voltage and a resistor right there, but we have to condense all this down. And then our equation is V times, V equals R, ti R times I, and solve that for I and we get V over R. And from here, we're going to give it to Courtney and or we'll give it to Cameron, and we're going to solve for the section of the circuit. Okay, for R3, 4, 5, it would be R5 plus R4, and that's equal to 3 ohms plus 2 ohms, and then that is equal to 5 ohms, and then R4, 5 plus R3, that would be equal to 1 over 5 plus 1 over 3, and then that is equal to 8 over 15, and then that is equal to R, 1 over R, EQ. Then you get the inverse, and then that will be 15 over 8, and then that is equal to R. Thank you. Circle, circle five, So from here, she's redrawing the circuit and she's just basically showing how she added these in series and added these in parallel. So now she's redrawing the circuit for how it should look after she okay. has that. through nine so our new circuit looks like Okay, so when she figured it out, she did four, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. So after three, four, and five, you're left with just this. And then now I'm going to solve R6 through R9. So with R6 through R9, we have R7, R8, which is four plus two. Four plus two plus two, which equals eight. And then you have R7, eight and nine plus R six, which equals these, and these are, this is our series, so you would do one over eight plus one over one, 
which will give you one, which will give you, um, nine over eight. Yeah. Nine over eight, which will give you one over R E Q, which will give you eight over nine for this series. So then with this, it simplifies to And now I'll pass the marker to Brent, I mean to Samuel. <coughs> so since uh, Carmen and Courtney already did, they already did the top part and the left part, uh, I'm gonna tackle the middle part. So for me, uh, R1. R1 is one ohm. Is one ohm. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing R one and two. Mm -hmm. So we uh, basically just add the uh, amount of ohms. So R one is one ohm. And then we just add that to uh, R two, which is two ohms. Yeah, you just you just add them together because they're in series. Right, exactly. And then they already tackled <coughs> R six through nine, so I have that. And now R one and two is in parallel with R six through nine. And so now he's adding those in parallel. Right. So I'm adding those. So uh, they, already had, they already added to the 15 over 8 for R6 through 9. Um, and then uh, for For R1, 2. Yeah, I'm tripping for R1, 2. It'll be eight over nine ohms. And the total for that will be 135 over 72 ohms. Total for R. Three through nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna uh, also add from R three to. Uh, R329 to uh, R1 and 2. Mm -hmm. So that would be. Um, uh, uh, we did the reciprocal of that, and that's going to be 72 over 199. So that's 1 over 3, mm -hmm. which would be 415 over 540, uh, 597. Mm -hmm. And from there, that is the total resistance of the circuit. So, which means that we now have a circuit that looks like this. With this, with the uh, amount of ohms being this right here. And from there, we will have a tape saw for the total current going through the circuit. So in my signal, this basically we we found the total resistance, which was four fifteen. Peeped on. Four fifteen over five ninety seven, and basically realizing that we were like, <coughs> the form of a current is well, really the formula for voltage is V equals I R. So in order to find current, which is our goal, we have to of course evaluate this or simplify this to find current. So the I equals V over R. And then we simply plug it in. We simply plug in the values to find, of course, what we need to. So given that, it becomes 
swallow over all in it. Point seven, it goes to point seven five. Okay. To simplify it, point okay. seven five, which equates to sixteen. Sixteen. Two units. This is how you solve a complex circuit. You have to first have your circuit, condense it down, and break down each point. So we broke this down into, we added these in series, broke that down into one circuit. Then you add those two series in parallel, and it becomes one circuit right here. You go up here, add these in series, add these three resistors in series, then you have a circuit right here. Add those two in parallel, and then you'll have a circuit. Then from there, you'll have one circuit here and one circuit here. Add those in series. Then you'll have a circuit here. You have these two circuits here, so add them in series. And then lastly, add those two in parallel. And then you'll be left with um, that small circuit. And then from there, you'll be able to find the current going through the whole circuit because you found the, the equivalent resistance. And from there, you have to solve for, solve for I. So you can get V over R. And then from there, you just plug in your values and that's.